everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install OpenSUSE Leap 42.1. Now, over here in Chrome, I have the OpenSUSE download page open, and don't worry, I'll leave a link for this down below so that you can uh, navigate to this page. And then you've got two options here you got the 4.7 gigabyte DVD image, and then there's also the network installer image. I, inst I downloaded the uh, DVD image and um, I actually installed it on a DVD and that 4.7 it just barely fits on a DVD. Um, but anyway you can use the direct link you can do use the BitTorrent whatever method you want to use for, for downloading. Um, and like I said I installed to, uh, to DVD. Uh, if you are on a Windows system and uh, you want to burn it to a DVD after you've downloaded this file you simply right click on it and uh, you'll have a uh, an option that says something to the effect of uh, burn image or burn to disk something like that click that and follow the instructions uh, you know real simple and it'll burn it right into a disk um, you know and that that's essentially it as far as getting it burned and and ready to uh, ready to install so Having said all that, I am going to switch over to VirtualBox and uh, do the do the installation demonstration there. And uh, well, let's get right to it. All right, so here we are in VirtualBox, and this is what you see when you first uh, when you first uh, pop in the DVD. So we're going to go to installation. Okay, so at this point you can do a keyboard test to make sure the keyboard is the correct one and you can select language, keyboard layout. Do a little test here to make sure this is working. Yep, that is what it's supposed to do. Okay, so if you need a translation for the license you can do that. You can read through all of it. I have already read this thing. So let's click next and move along here. So you got some installation options here. Um, I selected this add online repositories before installation. That kind of simplified things for me. Click. So once you get to this screen, you've got some suggested partitioning. You've also you can edit the proposed settings, create your own partition setup. Got this expert partitioner. Um, you know I'm not going to go and you know explain all the all the little tidbits of, of partitioning and different partitioning schemes that kind of thing on uh, you know that's a little more involved than than this video we'll just stick with the defaults and move on and uh, you know if there's a demand for it some other time I will do a video on uh, on different partitioning schemes that sort of thing so from this page here we've got our clock and time zone set up USA I'm in the Eastern so all that um, is correct I don't need to change that click next here it's reading list of online repositories and you can go and add some other repos if you wish I'm gonna stick with the the standard ones which is the update repo the main update repo um, the non OSS repo the OSS repo and these others, you know, if you want to play with untested and um, and so on and so forth, go right ahead. But uh, you know, I'm just going to stick with the default. Click next. And we've got the main repository license agreement. I've already read this thing. initializing the installation desktop selection all right from this point you can select which desktop you want to install you can do the gnome desktop kde desktop and you come down here to other and click that and you'll get xxe lxde a minimal x window enlightenment and minimal server so i'm going to do the gnome and we'll click next and user's full name so we'll put that in, give it a 
password and a username. Um, and now you want to check this stuff out here. Um, use the password for system admi administrator as well. Uh, check that. Do you want to receive system mail? You know, I'm going to leave that unchecked. Automatic login. Do you or do you not want to be automatically logged in? Personally, I uncheck this one. If you got a computer that, uh, you know, everybody in the household is going to use it and you're okay with, uh, you know, essentially no security and anybody can look at anything that's on there, go ahead and automatically log it in. But I'm going to keep it set that way. And let's click Next. Yes, I want to really use that simple password. It's VirtualBox. So, after you've done that, you will get a list of installation settings and you can go through check it and, uh, and make edit, edits and additions and all that kind of stuff and this is something I think is cool you can go and ex export the configuration um, which I think is really really cool idea um, you know maybe save yourself some time later on if you're going to install this again um, you know uh, that sort of thing but anyway so do a you know a double check triple check quadruple check to make sure it's exactly the way you want it click install um, confirm package license agreement for GStreamer uh, I agree confirm installation yes and now it's just a matter of allowing this to install and uh, you know waiting for it to do its thing and finish up well, we're not going to sit here and just watch a couple of progress bars move across the screen. At this point, it's simply a matter of wait for the installation to take place, and then boom, reboot, and you're done. Um, so like I said, really, really nothing more to look at. So anyway, hope this video helps you out, um, and you can see how easy the installer is, real easy to work with. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, all that kind of stuff, leave it down below. I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And I hope to see y'all on the next video. Thanks a lot.